Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Who's That Annie with your host Steve and Colin. We're still talking about Erased, but was it episode 9 and 10 today? Yes, yes, episodes 9 and 10. Yeah, episodes 9 and 10 out of a 12 episode series. So that's yep. it. It's to get to the end. Penultimate episode of Erase for us. Yep, that's right. Uh, First, we will be talking about episode 9 called Closure. Uh, I got some closure. In this episode? Yeah. No, I'm just going to some closure. If I can close some doors, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, I, uh, last episode, we saw uh, Kayo, Sachiko, and Satoru go and confront uh, Akemi at the front of Kayo's home, uh, where Akemi then attacked Sachiko with a snow shovel, cutting her across the bridge of the nose. Uh, was it the nose? I thought it was the forehead. Was it the forehead? No, you're right. Uh, it kind of bled uh, underneath from her, from t- underneath her hair. That's true. Uh, Just like uh, the Western days. Yeah, oh, bleeding. Mm. the good shit yeah but as we see it turns out this was all a plan as you said uh, hatched with yashiro the teacher and the consultants from child protection who have been waiting in the wings ready to see the fact that she's there and be like hey we talk about the fact that you haven't been looking after your daughter oh what about them that's my daughter she says and they're like nope Uh uh, no, not a problem. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't seem to go looking for her, so it's all right. What do you mean? Yeah. And also the police right now. Yeah. And then the teacher kind of comes up and sides with the Satro and the mother. Yes. And then when Akami starts dragging Kyle away up the street to go to the police, he disappears off to the side. And then you hear the voice of Akami, what That's are you right. doing? And it's like her uh, grandmother, Kyle's grandmother, there. Yep. And he, basically, she gets down on her knees and begs her. Says, oh, she's like, like oh, this apologies. is all my fault because I made you break up with your husband who was abusive. So, like, you know, that's maybe not a bad thing. Yeah, but she seems to have bastardized her at the same point. Yeah, I think the the bit that gets me, and I hate this, is that uh, because Kayo was being beaten by her father as well as a Kemi, and we see that, you know, like, both of them are all sort of, like, worse for wear, and uh, she's, like, very, like, after the the dad's out of the picture, you know, we're seeing this scene of, like, a Kemi being very tender, and just kind of like, oh, it's good to have my daughter back, and then she's like, ah, never mind, haymaker! And just punches her square in the face? Like, what? Oh, I think, yeah. I don't know. It was weird. That's some mad shit. She was in uh, some, um, braces, at least, all buying her stuff as well, because she got really beaten up. Because the husband yep. had like a, a probably smack her with the, the probably. Yep. Uh, and then the then the daughter got hurt. Then Kyle got hurt. Yeah, I assume it's some form of random repression. From yeah. Getting beaten up. Uh, I don't know. I don't think the daughter was getting beaten up. I think it was just a cami. She daughter was like kind of like oh, covering no, her. Oh no, you're right. You're her, right. Covering yeah. her back. It was Akemi then just took it out on the daughter. That's why yeah. she haymakered her in the face. That makes much more sense. Yeah. It was that, yeah. I mean, trauma. Sure. It's not, not the answer to everything, that's for sure. Uh, but, but of course we see Akemi and her mother crying together, lying in the street, upset, and we get Satoru's internal monologue going, Kyo doesn't seem that fussed about this. Yeah, it was like... Uh... He also states that he doesn't think it's like it's out of pity or something, rather mm-hmm. than. Oh yeah, it's it's the fact she's just upset she got caught. Mm. And then Kyle's like not looking at her at all. Nope. She's done it, and it's like yeah, quite rightly. Uh, and then Kyle goes into custody of the grandmother, and they get taken away by uh, the teacher, Yashiro. Yep. Yashiro. 
Yashiro. Yeah. And he says something to Satro, he's like, oh, yeah, I can let all your hard work go without being rewarded or something. Yeah. Something about that doesn't seem good. Yeah. Anyway, so... He takes him away and... Uh, I think... Next day... Satro's just lying over his desk in school and it's like, oh, what's up? Yep. He's been like this all day, type thing. Yep. And then he's kind of thinking, like, how, how can I speak to this other girl in the other high school, I think. Yep. That's what he's, doing. he's moving on fast. Yeah, he's moved on quite fast. Uh, Humoral, I think, is the other person. Uh, yes. Uh... She started to hang out with them a lot more. So Kenya uh, takes her to Hiromi, uh, sorry. Hiromi. Hiromi. Yeah. Hiromi then. Uh takes her to uh the child's uh recreational centre place. Yeah. Where Satro says, I'll meet up with you guys later and then goes stalking. Yeah. There's a knack for that, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, I suppose he doesn't know anything about the girl, so he's got to work out her, her routines to save her from being abducted. Oh yeah, because he talks to the the teacher Yashiro about how he should. Is that like, how can I talk to people who don't know me? Ah, uh, but not that's not yet. So he talks. Is that to not the yet? Talks is it the mother his, first? He talks to the mother first, and she's basically like, "Yeah, just say let's be friends." <laughs> yep, be forward. It's like, how are you about to think in his head? How would that work? And she's like, I bet you're thinking how that would work. And he's like, fuck. Yo Kai. Yo Kai. And then she explains it. And then I think he's at school at that point. And then it's kind of like, like, okay, I'm going to go uh, stop this girl. Because he's stalking the girl. Yes. At the time. Because he goes, all right, she goes to the piano lessons at this time. Should be okay if, or cram school, I think it is. And then um he gets back to the, the club, talks to them, and then goes back and then he's following her the sec uh, from there to see where she's going. And then his mother goes, Satru, come here and help me. And he's out on the other side of the street. Uh and then he he ha starts lugging um shopping around because the mother decided to buy it's on offer. I bought all yep. this meat or something. Yep. And he's like, oh god, it's heavy. It's not as heavy. It's not complaining. It won't be <laughs> as heavy. Like it'll be still heavy. Uh, and then uh, the teacher appears, poops the horn, goes beep beep, <laughs> gives him a lift home. He does. And then this is where things happen because. Uh, Satro says to the teacher, uh, yeah, my mother went on a, a shopping binge. Yep. Just, I wasn't binging. It's like, and the teacher kind of laughs. And then <laughs> the mother just kind of looks at the window and is like, oh, yeah, I better a shop. <laughs> She's going to have me. Uh, and then she signs, seems to have like, fell asleep in the car. So mm -hmm. Satro then asks the teacher how we go yeah, about Yeah, that's right. And it's like, oh, yeah, find something to get to know him better. Who was just also state. I think he sees is it Anya? Who's who's the person from the other school? Aya? Uh Aya. Aya. Yeah. She was on the bench in the park with Yuki. Yes. First. And then he follows her from there to Cram School and then because he's he's keeping a watch on both of them. Is this when he's in the? They're in the. No, it's not in the hideout. No, no, no. He's he he doesn't go to the hideout. Uh, anyway, so they're in the car with the teacher. Teacher goes, blah blah blah, and then he asks like, "How to do it?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, find a niche and interest. That's how I do it." Type thing. He also asks him in the car, like, "Why are you not married?" Why are you not married? That's right. And he's like. Uh, well, 
Well, these are these things. That's about uh, left field. Yeah, uh, he answers them honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's got a tick on his finger though. You see on top of yeah. the steering wheel. Yeah, uh, that's right. And then Tatro goes, "Oh, look, there's something sticking out of his glove box. Oh, don't open that." And it's full of candy. And then he claims that uh, that's a substitute for smoking. He quit smoking three years ago, and he can't live without them. Yeah. So you, you're now guilty, Satro. Yeah. You're having. You're candy. gonna have one of these because I'm having one. You're having one. Yeah. Uh, and then the mum wakes up and's like, "Well, I want one too." Give give me one. Hi. Can right. we just say, I told you this guy was trouble. What? I this told guy? you. I've told you since the start, since the beginning, I didn't like him. Why don't you like him now? He's, he's just picked him up in a friendly car drive. With his glove box full of lollies for children. It might not be. We both know that we've watched the next episode, Colin. I've watched the whole thing. Oh, God. But at the same time, got to keep the mystery for the viewers, man. Yeah, well, yeah, he discovers the stash of candy, and then, of course, the, he's like, it kind of gets brushed aside because everyone seems cool with it for whatever reason. He's like, that seems like a reasonable thing. Yeah, no. does it? Does, does it? Does it? No, Sasha is also thinking it's weird. You can see he's he weird. thinks it's weird, but then he does he not like talk himself out of how weird it is? Mm, no, <laughs> he's just thinking he's a weirdo. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Um. So yeah, they drive back. Uh... He can't lift. What happens after this though? Talk in the classroom and then decide to do it. Go and meet her. Yeah, and then the other two who are not being part of like the whole operation as of yet follow them because like let's go to the hideout, guys. And it's like, oh no, it's like all right, let's follow these guys. What what they up to? This is where they go to the bus, right? No. Yeah, they go back to the bus. What bus? The bus where Kyle was staying. Do they go back there first? Yeah, because they find that there's all the stuff's gone. All the stuff that was there is now missing. Oh, yeah, they do the go back to the bus. Yeah, yeah, that's how, that's where this kind of cuts out. Does it? Yeah, because then at the end of the beginning of the next episode, it kicks off with them like starting a friendship. Wait, what? How do they go to the bus yeah. and then start a friendship? Uh, well, the, 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 no, the, the, the start of the next episode is Satoru and his friends talking to Aya and like her not really into it. Is it? Yeah. Ah, oh, no. I'm sure the guy starts here. Might be right. Oh. That I'm sure ends on the fact that they find out that everything has been removed. On the bus? Yeah. But he's followed her. Did the whole car tourney. Uh, might be right. I don't know. It kind of blends into one of these ones. Uh, yeah. I thought end of the episode was Her appearing. No, because I'm sure the the hint for what's her name, the one that called Kayo out for being poor. You can see her wandering around, kind of like being isolated from everyone. Yeah, that's in this, true. In this episode, uh, and that only kind of. Oh wait, wait! I think they maybe do go to the bus and find everything's gone in uh -huh. this one. But then I think they come to another school and then they're going to go and make friends with them. So that. Uh, and it was basically the. Tatru, Kenya, and. 
I want to say Hiromi, but it's not Hiromi. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, Lee. And then the other two come in and say, Oh, come on, guys. Can't you um, want to go to the hiding right? And they say, No, we've got something to do. All right. And then, well, let's follow them then. And then they, yeah. they go out. And then it's her shuts the door on her own. She just gets up and has no friends. And it's yes. kind of being isolated. And then she shuts the classroom door. I yes, think that that's might right. be the end. At the way it ends. That's a good one. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. And that's, that's the end of that episode. How do you feel about this one? Oh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's good, I suppose. It's, it's continuing the suspense. Yeah, I think it's like it just feels like it's continuing to go somewhere without actually getting somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lot. So, like, try to answer all the unanswered questions because there are three girls that went missing. Yeah, um, Kyle's been saved. Yeah, because uh, I think when he's waving goodbye to her, he basically goes, um, "That's her pin." To the future, or her future is now pinned, or something. Uh, and then, uh, the other two would be. I'm going to say Hiromi again, just because I got that my name in my head. Uh, Hiromi's right. Hiromi, okay, that's good. And Hiromi Aya. and Aya, yeah, yeah. So the two girls. She's Aya's there. from the other school, and Hiromi is the one from his class. So yeah, the kind of tomboyish one. Yeah. Uh, hang around with them. Um, yeah. And they leave. And she's now kind of hanging around with them, so she's kind of been saved in that aspect that she's not continuously alone because she does. Mm-hmm. I think she states that in the next episode because her family is out working and don't get back to about 8 o'clock that night. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's good, man. It's, it's a seven. I agree. Like I say, it's 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 going somewhere. It's just not quite there yet. Yeah. Um. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to take a small interlude to go and stop my garden from disappearing. Keep keep the recording going, and I'll be back and as you... quickly as possible. What do you mean? So those... I don't. Apparently, some of my garden is now in my neighbor's garden. So I need to go and fix that. How do you know that? I got a text message. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and fix it, and I'm gonna be back. Don't stop the recording. Uh, I'll be back soon. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sorry to add more editing, but I'll need to do it too. I guess. Okay. Soon. <laughs> so we'll, we'll come back in now. You can add in any of the the additional crap you want in here, but yeah. <laughs> uh, we finish off, as you say, like episode nine, where they are uh, about to begin conversation with Aya, who's the girl from another school. Yeah. Oh, we did do that, didn't we? Finished yeah. Off. Yeah, we finished this episode. You gave it a seven. I gave it a seven. We're all good there. And then we move on to episode 10, which is titled Joy. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Oh, Indeed. Joy. Um, so this one starts off, I think, uh, with them basically talking to Aya. Yeah, it does. Where they're going, him and, oh, him and the friends. Yeah. And he goes, well, oh, hey, yeah, I'm finding this person from this school. Yeah. And she's like, and? And it's like, uh, stuff. And then it's like, oh, what? And then Kenny butts in and it's like, what book are you reading there? And she's like, oh, it's some Shakespearean book. I can't remember what it was. It's not Romeo yeah. and Juliet because he's like, shit. Re- that's, that's the one I'm reading, Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> and he, he's sweating. He's like, he is. Well, oh, that's, that's, that's it's a 29 stuff. year old man who. No, this is kind of sweating. Oh, I know, you're right. Yeah, sorry. Uh, and then she goes, I sure I recognize you guys. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. You're the guys that keep sneaking into that building across the river there. Yeah, so, and they were like, oh, oh shit, our hide is like completely exposed at this side. <laughs> we never knew that. Uh, and then 
So, uh, hi there, eh? Don't you think that's a bit childish? And then Kenny goes, Rah! and Sartre's like, calm, calm down, calm down. Yeah. It's like, I bet you like superheroes too, eh? They're childish too. And Sartre's like, Rah! and then there's uh, Hiromi is like, calm down. <laughs> and this time there's uh, the other two friends of, uh, are like, been spying on them. And the other guy yeah. jumps out, um, Kaza? Uh, the big guy. Yeah. Yeah. Kazu, I think. He jumps out and goes, Bah! If we got some time, someone like Haida has been the adventurous, been the adventurous of a man. And then she blushes and he blushes and says, If we got any free time, why don't you come with us? And it's like, No, I know you. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that today. Uh, and then that cuts it and it's like, Ah, oh, shit. Blew it this time. Yep. Uh, and now he's got his secret power hideout where he can power her from afar. He does. Yeah, he does. Actually, he just he's not keeps doing that. What? He is spying on her. Yeah, but he's spying on her for a reason. Yeah, he is. Yeah. So they, they, they do continually kind of go to the hideout more now that the, the, the they can. I think, what was it before? Was the weather too bad or... Because they don't want to see the footprints in the yeah. snow. Yeah. Uh, and and now it's getting a bit better. So they're able to go in and out of the hideout again. Yeah. Um, he finds his gloves. Uh, yeah, he finds his gloves. And he kind of keeps keeps an eye on her. And then one point he's keeping an eye on her. And he's like, oh, well, she disappeared. No. Shit. It's, it's not, not even keeping an eye on her. He's like, ah. Oh. Because he was like, you know what? I go to the park and see I again. <laughs> Uh, he's like, no, no, I can just watch her from here. That's fine. And then she just kind of opens the door and it's like, oh, <laughs> she's right here. <laughs> she's right here. She, he didn't get to do it. He didn't get to do it. Yeah, that's I fair. Came, I came to see this thing, and uh, Kazu stands up and goes, "Welcome to our hideout." And uh, that's the thing. Yeah. I should state that when we were, last episode, we completely missed out the bit on the bus. I know you were talking about it, but it never came to mind. But this is where uh, Satru basically states that he thinks there's a a killer on the loose. Because uh, Kenny That's was right. like, Kenny was like, "Well, you've done everything for Kyle. What what's the deal now?" And it's like, "Oh, well, actually, don't you think that bag was a bit sus, like uh, yeah. some serial killer is about?" And it's like he well, says, like uh, he he points out that there are other girls who are a bit lonely too. And they need saving. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. In, I think he mentions that, uh, particularly about Aya, who's like, she's on her own a lot. Yeah. I thought it was just this episode that gets hinted at. Oh, maybe. Because this is the episode that um, he only points out that the, the girl, I can't remember her name, um, the girl that it called out Kyle for stealing the, the lunch money or tried to yeah. her uh, is uh, uh, Misato. Yeah, isolated. Uh, yeah, Misato has uh, been isolated from her friends and is kind of lonely now. Um, but so Aya uh, is now kind of like hanging out with them. Kind of ends there and it goes back to school the next day yeah. and I think Hiromi goes back to classroom for some reason and um, states that uh, Hiromi goes back to the class and states and, and bumps into uh, Masato who just says Opens the door and says, "Move," and yeah. she, she's you know, glum, and she moves out of the way. Uh, and they talk about a hockey game, and the other friend that I don't know, I don't do we even know his name? I think we do, but which one? The one with the glasses, because he was oh, looking for I... Kazu, because he was like Kazu's friend. He says, oh, yeah. Kazu, let's go to the hideout. And it's like, oh, no, he's off to meet Aya. Oh, right, okay. But wait, hang on. Isn't she just going to the hideout anyway? She knows where that is. 
he doesn't go need to go and meet her. And they're like, that's a good point. Well, at least he's with her. True. That's fine. true. Um, so there's a hockey game going on. Uh, and I think he goes to the hockey Osamu. game. Osamu. Yeah, Osamu goes to the hockey game the week before and says that Sato was just sitting on her own at that yep. one too. Uh, oh, sh- oh, yeah, and there's the other thing about the, the bus scene is <laughs> so basically you have like, oh, I want to believe in you because i got to believe in you because I can't believe in myself. Don't. Don't start this again. <laughs> don't believe in me. Believe in. Don't believe in yourself. Believe in me, the one who believes in you, or whatever it was he said the last time. It's something like that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, no, it's because uh, they're saying that. It's, it's, and then he kind of reminds of uh, Ari from the future saying the same uh-huh. thing. Because uh, right. believe in. Believe in you is kind of like the, the flip side of asking me to believe you. Yes. So it was her logic. Uh, anyway, so Hiromi also then kind of holds Sashri's hand and goes, I believe in you too. Well, I was in the last episode. And then they run several ways. Yes. He's walking her home. Um, and then, anyway, so back to this episode. Mm-hmm. So there's half with that. And then Hiromi goes, Oh yeah, Misato's kind of been lonely, and then he's like, because oh. he was like, who's the next target? Because it's just like those lollipops in that guy in the, the teacher's car. Yep. Uh, they'll be looking for a substitution. And he's like, Misato's lonely. Oh shit, it's her. That's, that's the only conclusion he came to. Yeah. So he was going to go and talk to her because Horomi was also on about... Um, how it's good to have somewhere, so people to go to type thing. Because, like I said before, she said that her parents weren't till eight. Yep. Um, that's the thing there. So he then tries to go and talk to Masato, but she's already left. And yes. Is getting on a bus. Because the other girls in the class were saying, oh, we get a lift by the teacher, but uh, Misato, we'll just leave her alone. Also sounds really dodgy. Mm-hmm. Well, it is. It's three girls, man. So anyway, the... <laughs> he goes to the... He goes to the... Um... He goes to the game, the hockey game, the ice hockey game. And uh-huh. remarks that it's colder in there than it is outside in the snow. Yes. Uh, and then he looks around, sees the teacher and the three girls, and the girls are cheering on uh, the ice hockey player who he won the race with earlier. That's right. The yeah. uh, he's like, Go away, you ugly. <laughs> Don't say that. Shut your mouth. And the teacher oh. goes, You guys. You you stop being don't say that type thing. Yeah. Or or you won't get any of the food in this bag. Uh, uh and then you see Sato off in the far far reaches on the other side of the ma- uh, the pitch from um mm-hmm. in the the re- rafters drinking a can of soda. And then she puts yep. it down and goes to the toilet. And then Satro follows her and keeps an eye on her to see if she comes to the toilet. And then it's like, for five minutes, that's too long, he says. Yeah. Jesus. And just as he's about to look really demented by sticking his head in the, the girl's <laughs> bathroom and being like, hey, you in there? Uh, Yoshiro, uh, Yoshiro pops his head in through the, the fire exit, right? Yeah, sucking a lollipop. Yep. He's oh, hey, what you... What you doing there? <laughs> Pretty much. And he's like, oh, I need to speak to Masato. And then he yep. looks out the door and goes, uh, I think she just left. Yep. And he's like, what? Did he know? He's like, I just passed her. Yeah. Uh, and then 
So Sartre goes out and sees the pickup. Yep, pickup truck's moving away. Yuki's pickup, family's pickup. Yeah. He's like, oh, teacher, can you uh, do me a favour? Can we follow this pickup? He's like, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Sure. Sure. Why not? Got nothing better to do tonight. Yeah. And they're traveling. I'm apparently at a hockey match with a bunch of kids uh, that I'm going to abandon. Yeah. Apparently. Fair. Fair. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the shirking all responsibility as the, the Guardian. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, he's, he is uh, clarified, in fact, that he is willing to do so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he does that. Uh, and then the start of this actually the start of this episode was um, him remembering the, the the other pass the original pass where he's mourning the loss of all his friends and that's the graduation right. speech that's right because he then regurgitates part of the speech For to, to him he's like wait I was going to say that gra your graduation yeah and it's like oh He's like, oh yeah, shit. Fuck. Uh, and, Determinism. Yeah. Uh, and then he talks about, the teacher basically talks about stuff and it's like, bum, 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 bum. And then, oh, hey, you know what? Maybe we'll get you a, a lollipop or something out of here. <laughs> that... uh oh. That's right, yeah. He's like, he goes, I'll get it. And he opens it up and he's like, oh. No, uh, no lollipops in here. And he goes, yeah, this is, uh, this isn't my car. Or, or, it is my car, but it's my decoy car. Yeah. I got several. Like, <laughs> and now we can bask in the glory of me being right. Oh. Anyway, um, yeah, he's also got to put the seatbelt on. It's, oh, it's a bit stiff. Here, I'll get you that. It's not, it's all not good. Yeah, it's not good. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, the teacher is, is the one. He's the dodgy man. He's the one? He's and he's the like, one. it is me. However, I've realised that all of my plans are going to shit, and I don't know why. Then I realised, it's you. You're my problem. <laughs> Yeah, I knew that as soon as he turned up to the hockey game. <laughs> yep. And he's like, yep, you are my issue here. <laughs> he know he know all my plans. <laughs> yep. Uh and then yeah, he explains he's like, Oh yeah, I used uh I used Masato as bait to bring you here. Uh she went to the toilet because I <laughs> I put laxatives in her drink. Yeah, he's this like God, he's a killer and an asshole. Tablets and the laxative. Uh and he Turn off, stop following the the pickup, and he states, um, "Oh, yeah, don't worry, she's not in that. She's not in the truck." Yeah, she, was, oh, she's not in there. That's all he's her bento or something. Yeah, she's still in the. She's still at the hockey game. Yeah, I assume maybe that was Yuki driving the truck then. It probably was. Yeah. Because as we said, he's like it, the, the determinism there is him trying to make it look like Yuki was the one that was the problem. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, that's wild. Yeah, turns off. Goes off road to the yep. the, the frozen river. Basically states it's game over for both of us. Yeah, I guess I'll go somewhere else. Yeah, you, you say this town, boy. <laughs> oh, man. That's Scooby-Doo stuff here now. It is, yeah. It is massively Scooby-Doo. Uh, but yeah, it... He waits, waits down the car and uh, lets it roll into the, into the water. He, he does say it like he has never had to use the car before. Yes, but that's he's, right. He's got several around town, apparently. Yeah. It'll never be found back to him. It'll never get back to him, so yeah. it's fine. Uh, but yeah, he uh, <laughs> takes the handbrake off, 
lays the car down, it slowly rolls into the frozen lake with Satoru inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he must have uh, put the ball on the clutch or something. He's uh he's changed the future. <laughs> yeah, as soon as dies. Yeah. Well, he's he's slowly oh. drowned, but before before he hits the water, he goes one, because I think the teacher, Yashiro goes, it's like you know the future or something. Yeah, he does. Uh, so Sashiro plays his one final car just as he's about to hit the water. It's like I know your future, and then go 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 go, 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 go. And, and he's a. Uh, He's fallen into the water and uh, can't get the seatbelt. Well, that's weird because the seatbelt hasn't, wouldn't have like kicked in its mechanism, I would have thought. No. So you should be able to like just, instead of like undoing the buckle, just like stretch it. He's not a, yeah. big, he's not a big kid. Yeah, like just. Yeah. <laughs> just pull it pull and it. then get out. Get out, you yeah. Know. It's, not, it's not hard, or you know, he's put it that... into like being really cold and panicked. I guess. I think he's just uh, panicked. I think it was initially because yeah. he could probably have done that when he was still there. Uh, falls yeah. in the water, and then it kind of ends up ends up showing him kind of floating down into the river without the car. As a yes. Symbolism scene, I assume. Of him drowning. Because then it goes back to him in the seat and goes, Fuck. Yep. And that's the end of that one. I love the fact this this <laughs> this episode is called Joy. Yeah. I think it's Joy to the point uh, until he realizes that, oh yeah, there's oh, other, yeah. I haven't, I haven't saved these kids, but there's always other kids. I'm fucked. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. This is a good one. Colin, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah, you're you're itching on your seat, man. You want to? Yeah, wanna I need to. I need to. I need to know where this goes. Uh, how, how do you rate this one? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to. Last one was it was climbing to the. I'll, I'll say an eight on this one. It was. It's got a good cliffhanger on this one. It's like, oh shit, is he dead? I uh, I'm going to give this one a nine. Because uh, because I was right. Because you're right. You were giving it a nine. Right. You're right. If yeah. if you weren't right, it gets, it gets extra points. No, I I think like it, it is a. It's interesting because everything about that character to me has seemed off, and yet at every avenue they have done something to make it seem that he is on the level. Like having him having him like come through for Kaio by getting the the child services involved. And giving him advice and helping him and his mother and like and even the bits that are dodgy like get kind of batted away by him just seeming like a genuinely kind of a guy who is just not doesn't quite have it all together uh, and instead actually he's a guy who has has it all together and is very angry at the fact that his plan is not working and he's not murdering children. Yeah, he's he's quite uh, I'm upset by that. Sasha was uh, wild. Sasha was basically like, oh shit. You know, his name was on the list, but I just I can't I can't imagine That's it was him. Right. His name was on the list and everything, and he just ignored it. Yeah, he can he can't see it was him. But that's crazy. I forgot about that. Hundred percent, it was him. Yeah. Why his mom was on the list too, though, wasn't she? Ah, uh, she might have been. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she might have been. Yeah. Well, uh, we've only got one more episode to cover. Well, two more episodes to cover, but in we'll do it in one more episode, Colin. Mm -hmm. So next week will be the thrilling conclusion of our erased episodes. Dum dum dum. Uh, dum and dum, then we'll dum, go on dum. to. Do we want to drop what we're gonna do? Oh, uh, we want to prepare people, or do you want to talk about it next time? Talk about it next time. Oh, who's okay. that enemy? I guess we'll 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 leave it at. Obviously, as you know, the the if you're listening to us and you have been for a while, you'll know about the cadence that we work in. We do a season, we have a bonus episode, uh, or a bonus time, uh, and then we go back into a new series. Uh -huh. um, and what will be interesting here is, is that uh, we're going to do something we've never done before. Um, yes. We're going back to the heart of the reason 
why we started this. Yep. We're going we're going home, Colin. We're going home. We're going home, we're going home Steve. It's you gonna know, be a wild adventure so far. It has. Uh <laughs> We're only going home for a bit, but yeah, <laughs> we're, going, we're going home. Uh, so did I actually ever go home in Pokemon? Did he uh, ever return home? I don't know if he ever returned home, but he did become world champion. Yeah. Did he, so he left like age, what, 13 was it? 10. 10. He left 10. at age 10 and just left to roam the world. And he never went back and spoke, saw his mom ever again. Yeah, I mean, I think about that a lot because my son's about to be 10 and he uh, can't reliably tie his shoelaces properly yet. So it's like, I don't know if like sending a child out into the world at 10 is a good idea. Well, he can't tie his shoelaces. I wonder if the can do that. When, when he's... Yeah, I should probably can't. I, I, uh, I remember struggling with it, certainly until I went to secondary school. I could never do it properly. I erased those times from my life, so I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I remember it specifically because a friend of mine tied his shoelaces differently to the way I did it. Oh, yeah. What do you do? Well, I'm assuming you do single loop over and around and through. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like tie it like that and then you take you take the two strings, uh -huh. you take one of them and you uh -huh. bend it, bend it so into a loop. Yeah. You take the other one, you mm -hmm. wrap, mm -hmm. and then you pull them through into two loops. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I tie shoelaces every day that I put my shoes on. I just can't remember yeah. how to do it. Well, my, my friend did two loops uh -huh. and just tied them together. Oh, okay. Which is apparently another viable way to do it. It does work. I mean, I assume it must work because that's how he's, he's tying his shoelaces. I double, yeah. I double loop mine now. You double loop? Yeah, yeah so you, like, you get a loop and then you do it once and you have it and then you do it again. I don't think I've ever double looped. Because it saves them undoing themselves. Huh. I usually just double knot instead. Yeah, that double knot. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, yeah. Mean. So you, yeah. So you tie it and <laughs> then you Tie it again. again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought you meant you were making a loop and then you were making a quadruple loop. Oh. I was like, I don't see how that helps. <laughs> Makes it pretty. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, as thrilling as talking about that is, uh, you've done it. You've uh, you've ended you've managed to get to the end of another episode of Who's That Anime, a podcast entirely about anime and sometimes other stuff, like in today's episode where I had to run outside for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and save <laughs> save my garden um but yeah uh you can find us at our home uh of anchor.fm forward slash who's that anime we can be found where all good podcasts can be found um if you like what it is we do uh we don't make any money from this and we don't have any sort of funding options or advertising so uh, a way to support us is to uh, leave us a review um that does wonders for us in the chart um, if you've already left us a review or you can't because of the podcasting software you use, then um, telling a friend about what we do is another viable option. Uh, we have a Facebook page, that's facebook.com forward slash who's the anime, where we post the latest episode releases and the occasional anime meme. We have a uh, Discord thing? Channel? Yeah. Discord channel. Not the word? Discord yeah. channel. Yeah. Uh, and you can find the link for that in the show notes. Uh, we also have a YouTube account uh, where Colin painstakingly puts together the video versions of these episodes. Um, we also have recently put up the podcast RSS feed into that too, where you can now listen to the audio episodes in there. That seems quite popular at the moment. Um, you can find that by going to youtube.com and searching for at Who's That Anime. Uh, Colin and I also occasionally like to play video games. Colin at twitch.tv forward slash couchfuel and myself at twitch.tv forward slash Hail Payman. Uh, and you can find archives of all the content from both of those channels at youtube.com by searching for at Couchfuel or at Hail Payman. Yeah. There you go. We, we did it. Done it again, man. Yep. Uh, 147th completion of an episode. Crazy. It's Crazy. Like, you know how, you know, that is like, um, 
Was it? It's 90 miles to Glasgow. Mm -hmm. So 147 miles would be to... Halfway to Carlisle? Halfway to Carlisle? Yeah, halfway to Carlisle. Let's say that. Yeah, down the M74. Yeah. Heading on to the M6. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'd probably get... Uh, probably be starting to head towards Lockerbie. Yeah. Right about there. Yeah. That's the distance. The worst is near the black... <laughs> the black Go penis on, forest. <laughs> the black <laughs> penis forest. What? Yeah. Oh, there's this one day when I was travelling up from England and there's like this uh, little bit of forest. It's it's kind of like, looks like a big crop on the side of a hill. Amazing. Yeah. It... Well, <laughs> yeah. Fuck, folks. Did you say it, Colin? <laughs> say it. Say it. Get us out of here. Quick. Reset. Reset. <laughs> we can edit this. I know I'm not going to, but go on. Anyway, uh, that's it, folks. That's been Who's That Anime with your host, Stephen Collin. We'll see you next time. time. Same anime place. Uh, same anime. Yep. For now. For now. Do -do -do. Oh, Bye, folks. Can we do it? Bye. Bye.